Hey guys, what's going on? So before we do anything, I just want to remind everybody that Brendan's new channel is up, Brendan's Animals. He has a new video out this week, so click on over there, check it out, give him a like and subscribe. There's lizards and bugs and all kinds of fun things going on, so give it a look. So in the last few months, we've noticed that our birds have been doing a lot more chewing of things around the house. And we know the reason for this is because we have not provided them as many new toys as we normally would have, just the circumstances of the last six months or so, it means that we have not been going out as much, we have not been ordering things in as much, and they have gotten a little bored with the toys that they already have. So in order to alleviate this boredom, they have been finding other things around the house to chew on. And unfortunately, a number of these things are not very good. Pillow and Pearl believe that our le Pillow and Pearl believe that our leather chairs are chew toys. We've had to make a Yes, I'm talking about you. We've had to make a habit of constantly having the backs of our chairs covered up because certain birds will go over and sit on them and begin begin chewing on them, right? You love to chew on the leather chairs, right? You're ruining our furniture. Yes, you are. There are other things as well that they love to chew on. They love the computer screens, specifically the rubber. I'm not even sure exactly what the material is, but the soft rubber perimeter of the computer screen. Pearl especially has chewed mine to bits. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, no. They like computer keyboard keys. They love cell phone covers. They particularly love these rubber headphones. And it's it's always interesting when we actually got these on, we're trying to edit a video or do whatever, and they're sitting on our shoulders or on our chests or whatever, and just chewing, chewing, chewing on the headphones while you're wearing them and trying to work. They chewed on our coffee table, on our TV table. Randomly one day we were sitting there and Pearl had never chewed on our wooden table before. And we looked up and suddenly she chewed a big hole in the side of it. And we didn't even know where that had come from. Suddenly one day she just leaned over and decided to chew a hole in the side of our table. And like our tables and our chairs, the birds also like to chew on the fabric of our lampshades. Our square lamp they've been sitting on a lot recently. That's like their new favorite place to perch. And they, especially Pearl, have begun chewing that as well. As we've shown in some previous videos, birds love puzzle pieces. Um, this can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending if you care if they chew up your puzzle or not. If you would like to buy puzzle pieces for your bird, you can go to the dollar store. They have cheap puzzles there. Just make sure everything is non-toxic. Our birds also love to chew on books and like puzzle pieces, this can be something that's either a good thing or a bad thing. This particular book I got used and I've already read it and the birds love to chew it up. So it doesn't really matter that they've chewed it, but if you have a new book, maybe a book you're giving away to somebody, you know, for whatever reason you don't want your birds chewing on books, be careful of that. Our birds absolutely love, love, love to chew on crayons. It's like there's some sort of magnetic attraction between them and the crayons. We have the crayons out and we're drawing and they are suddenly there and we cannot keep them away from chewing on the crayons. Now, crayons are non-toxic. They're made for little kids who chew on them all the time. So the danger is not being poisoned. It's that if they bite off large chunks of these crayons and end up swallowing them, they could get stuck down in their throats. Now, in the times that we've caught our birds chewing on crayons, we haven't noticed them actually swallowing or consuming any of the wax. It always ends up in a big pile on the table in front of them that they like to just pick apart. But just to be safe, it's good to keep crayons away from your birds. Another thing our birds have found that they love to chew on are Brendan's toys. He has a lot of small plastic animal toys and they just love to chew on the plastic. And we've got a lot of these toys have little soft edges. There are a lot of bugs with little legs and little antenna and things like that, that the birds love to chew off. Now, like with the crayons, we have not noticed the birds ever actually consuming this plastic. There, we always find the little bits and pieces laying all over the table. But again, just for safety, it's good to keep toys like that away from your birds if they have the inclination to chew them up. 
Birds also love to chew on fabric things. They like my socks. I have a whole array of these kind of goofy, brightly colored fuzzy socks that I wear year round because my feet are always cold. And they love to sit on my feet and start ripping the threads out of my socks. A lot of these socks also have the little rubber grippers on the underside and they like to chew those up as well. They have also begun going into the kitchen more and exploring the counters and they've discovered plastic bags, bread bags, tortilla bags, things like that and they love to chew those up as well. So if any of you are in the same situation where maybe you don't feel comfortable going out to the store as much as you used to to buy new things, there are a number of common household items that are within your reach right now that make very adequate bird toys. The first one is shredded paper. Birds love shredded paper. Um, colored is preferable. And we've actually used Easter grass. This is grass that went in Brendan's Easter basket and the birds became addicted to it. They love playing with it. Just avoid the plastic Easter grass. Paper is always best. Drinking straws are also popular toys. We cut them into smaller pieces, we kind of jerry-rig them together, and they become brand new bird toys. Birds love cork. We provide them wine corks. Now, a very important thing to remember is that alcohol can be fatal to birds. So it's essential that if you give them a cork from an actual bottle of wine, that all the alcohol has evaporated out. We have a pile of corks sitting over there that have been sitting there for weeks or even months. When I cork a bottle of wine, I just toss the cork over there and we just let it sit. And after a long time, we usually wait, like I said, many weeks, the alcohol is gone and the birds can safely chew on it. And you should be able to tell the alcohol is gone because alcohol has a very distinctive smell and when it's gone, chances are the alcohol has evaporated. Empty paper towel and toilet paper rolls are fun as well. Those are good chew toys for birds. Just make sure there are minimal glue lines still on the roll. Plastic bottle caps also make good toys. We use ones from plastic water bottles. And birds also like to chew on coffee filters. And if you're in the pet store or the bird store and you see some of the ready-made toys for sale, you'll notice that a lot of these regular household items are integrated into those toys. So these are things you can give to your birds just as is. Um, they don't have to be they don't have to be fashioned into fancy toys, although of course you can do that if you want to. But if you're not crafty or you don't have the time or inclination to turn these basic objects into elaborate toys, your birds can be very satisfied with these just as they are. So those are some good safe things that you can give to your birds and hopefully that will distract them from chewing on your furniture. If your birds are chewing things that they're not supposed to chew on, don't get mad at them, don't yell at them, don't flip out or try to punish them. Just provide a lot of supervision for them and try to distract them with safe toys. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Again, check out Brendan's channel, Brendan's Animals, and we'll see you next time.